few months since officially launching his race for the White House, Governor Ron DeSantis is back in Orlando to continue his message. It comes as his campaign has suffered staffing cuts and fundraising questions. News 6's Lauren Cervantes joins us live outside the Marriott where he spoke. Lauren, what did he have to say today? Well, the governor's had a number of stops rather outside of the state, hitting those early primary states. But today he returned to Orlando, speaking in front of a friendly audience here at the JW Marriott, hitting on those familiar topics like parental rights and education and Florida's economy. This is he works to reboot his campaign. We have in Florida shown the way on how to have a strong robust economy. Governor Ron DeSantis touting the strength of the Sunshine State at a conference Wednesday at the JW Marriott, a message the governor has repeated on the campaign trail nationally, despite some struggles. Reports earlier this week stating DeSantis has cut about a third of his campaign staff to stay financially strong and a federal campaign spending report showing a lag in small dollar donations, the number of supporters giving less than $200. He is uh, presently laying off a good amount of his campaign staff. He's trailing by more than 20 points uh, in any of the recent polls. Uh, he's also struggling with uh, campaign fundraising. Dr. Sandra Pavelka, a political science professor at Florida Gulf Coast University, says the gap continues to widen between Governor DeSantis and former President Donald Trump in polls. Trump just started gaining and gaining and gaining and now he's over 20 percent, uh, 20 points, percentage points in the polls at this point. So that he's really behind and it's it's not it doesn't seem like it's coming uh, forward at any time. But Dr. Pavelka says there is still hope for the DeSantis campaign. The governor last month, as he hit the campaign trail hard in early primary states, receiving endorsements from 15 South Carolina lawmakers. I think DeSantis and, and obviously uh, his wife, Casey, have been really hitting the campaign trail pretty hard. They've been looking to connect with uh, potential voters and they've been really good about hitting strategic areas. Of Dr. Pavelka says it'll be important to keep an eye on that first GOP debate, which is set for August 23rd in Milwaukee. For now in Orange County, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results. News 6.